Hey there everybody, it's me Kay, and no I'm not playing Pong, despite what it may look like, I'm playing something very very special today. This is a game called Pixel Story, it was made by Lamplight Studios, and the reason I'm here playing it today is because one of my close personal friends is actually one of the developers of this game. They did a great deal of the art for the game. So I'm going to be Let's Playing It, and it's actually quite a pleasure because it's a very fun game. So I'm going to be showing this to you probably in one entire sitting. It's not a super long game, but it's not short by any means either. Let's go ahead and get started. We'll watch the opening cutscenes, and I'll talk a little more about the game as we go. All right, here we are, washed up on shore of a beach, rescued by a turtle of all things. We've just been shown a great many things. Not all of them will make sense yet. Welcome. Oh, I see. Uh, so he pokes me with a stick. Wake up. We can't be wasting cycles having a jolly at the beach. The system won't save itself. Oh, by the way, yes, this is a very, very British game. Uh, so you're going to hear terms like having a jolly and, and whatnot, and they spell things a little different than you might be used to if you're an American fan. Just be advised. Hello. Yes, hello. As I was saying, welcome to Generation 1. My name is Search, and I'm here to help. Now, it might have been fine when you were bouncing about as a little ball, but with a body comes the concern of making yourself decent. Take these. So we get a pair of overalls and a yellow bed sheet, I guess. Good. Hey now, don't you look acceptable. Now to business. And there's a power that has existed within the system since almost the beginning of time. You have been chosen. You must use this power to bring peace and stability back to this world. What may look like a simple, rather floppy hat is in fact one of the most powerful artifacts in this system. I now bestow this upon you, chosen one. Oh. Well, this is awkward. I'd go and get it back, but I'm absolutely terrified of seagulls. Follow that bird. All right, well, we've got control of our character finally. Don't touch water, by the way, or you die, as you can see. 
We're playing what looks to be a very retro kind of side scrolly platformer. And that's, that's partly true. But this game's a little more complicated than that, and a lot more interesting. Let's curb stomp this sand castle. Oh, I missed it. There we go. This game kind of tells the story as it goes, and it might not all make sense at first. We know that we were apparently the Pixel in the Pong game, which is running on this computer, which is the system that they speak of. This guy is Search. He's probably the search function on a computer, which is why he can go anywhere, presumably, because he's appearing wherever he wants to. There's the blighter now, and it has craftily positioned itself on the other side of this deadly spike pit. I think we may be dealing with some kind of mutated genius bird. Luckily, if that spike pit is, has its dastardly way with you, you'll come back to life with that thing you just passed through, meaning death has little or no meaning. Hurrah! And he's quite right. That uh, little spot I stepped through that has a copy of me in it, that's a backup. See, so yeah, I keep coming back here if I die now. It's like a checkpoint. There goes our seagull with our hat. Everything you'll find in this world has some kind of metaphor to computers from what I've seen. So as we go, keep that sort of framework in mind. And I think things will make more sense. If you direct your attention slightly to my left, you will see a door with chains. A chain door, as it were. And why, search my friend, does the door have chains on it, you ask? Well, behind this door lies a very dangerous and challenging chamber. There are many like them dotted all over the system. You can purchase entry using coins you pick up on your adventure, but be warned, they're very dangerous. Just don't say I didn't tell you. And I need 32 coins to get in there. Pixel's story has one of the cooler mechanics I've ever seen in a game, and we're going to be getting into it as we progress. The game kind of gets more complicated as you go. And here we have a pirate, appropriately. Ahoy there, matey. Seems you must have washed up from the shore. How do I know that, you ask? Because you smell like the udders of a sea cow. Oh god, that was my bird voice again. Oh. Yes, well, that too, but mainly because I see everyone who comes past this here lighthouse. So you've done a one-way trip. You're clearly new to this land. I feel it's my sailor's honor to give you a fighting chance of finding your way around. So here, take this here map. It's been crafted by some of the finest cartographers ever to grace these lands. Ah, you just take the liberty of filling it in while you go around, that'd be great. Ah, ah yes. There is a small issue that the highly skilled cartographer who made the map was blind, had no hands, and sadly passed away the instant he made it. Yes, uh, well, lucky you don't actually have to do much. The map almost draws itself. I'm sure you'll work it out. You got a map! Oh, saw a gull fly by here with a nifty looking hat. Wouldn't want to lose a thing like that. I think it's sat on top of this air lighthouse. I don't know why he's a Scottish pirate. But he is. And yeah, we have a map now. It's, uh... Oh god, there we go. That's right. Let's just see, everywhere we've been, we can uh, fast travel between checkpoints now which is a nice feature. Uh, it tells you where your next objective is, and it points out those uh, diamond-like objects there as well. There goes the bird. We'll get that seagull yet, believe you me. But right now, I want you to pay attention to that big shining gym thing. That's what we call memory. Now, as I said, we're on an important adventure. We're headed to the center of the system, but to get there, you'll need lots of memory. As we're adventuring, try to pick up as much of this stuff as you can. We'll need all we can get if we want to save the system. Alright. Well, there you go. We got it. Sometimes memory changes things around a bit. You need it to progress between generations, which we'll get into a little later. But you will need a set amount of it, at least, in order to beat the game. So it is good to get them where you can. Got it. Oh. That red thing over there, dangerous as it looks, is not a landmine from the Great Worm War of 95. It's a spring. You can use it to, well, spring. I believe that is a nod to the fact that those look like mines from the old game Worms, which they kind of do.
Huh. Well, there he goes again. Can't drop down through platforms, do keep in mind, so we can't get down there that way. Perhaps the map can show us how we might get down there. Uh, maybe not. Let's just launch ourselves over here, then. Fantastic as springs are, they don't always put you exactly where you want to be. You can resist a spring's launch direction by pushing against it, as it were. It's all very complex stuff. Physics, air resistance, springness related. Is that the time? We really must crack on. Yeah, that tried to launch me too uh, far back down the hole, but you can get away from them if you're careful with it. Hey, a castle! What's all this? Oh, okay. Watch out for that. Ah, right, yes. The seagulls still are number one priority, but I should probably tell you, your arrival caused a bit of a commotion. See, not everyone is so mad on this chosen one save the system stuff, so right now the system is in safe mode. Unfortunately, they operate in a race first, worry about no reference exceptions later policy, so keep your head down. Well, that sounds like somebody we should talk to. Halt program. This area is in lockdown. Access is not permitted whilst the system tries to locate a possibly hazardous error. Although why anyone would want to make their way into this sewer area is beyond me. It's not pretty, it smells bad. I need a transfer. Alright, those guys are kind of like firewalls in a way. They're very much inside a computer, it's just a question of understanding the rules of living in this computer. Oh, come on. There we go. Oh. All program. This area is in lockdown. Access is not permitted whilst the system tries to locate a possibly hazardous error. Hey. Yeah, I'm just guarding the shelf of... Bottle. Halt program. This... Should we cover that already? They're not very good at what they do. Much like a lot of firewalls I've seen. Antivirus programs and the like. But they are in our way and we can't do anything about them. Huh. Just can't get up there yet. We'll have to find a way up there. Whoa! Okay, well there goes the, the bird again. You know, they say the seagulls work for the evil in the system. Certainly makes sense to me. They're always mucking up my work. I want to say the seagull's some kind of computing reference. I know that the red hat is probably related to red hat, but... Well, that's... I can't get up there that way. I'd need to have some alternate ability to help me. Woo! Can I go down that hole? Let's see. Is there something down there? No, it doesn't look like it. The only key to that door is in that pit. Clearly that saw blade has some kind of cruel ploy in mind. This isn't the first time mining equipment has tried to best me, yet I'm still here and no one's ever seen that pickaxe again. Our companion is a bit of an odd one. I'm gonna see if I can actually go down that and get anything out of it. Oh, you can! Wow. That's, that's very key. I didn't know about this area. Hey, looks like you found some kind of back passage. And a smelly one to boot. I tell you what, there better be some kind of fitting arbitrary reward for this. Sewer guard again. Oh! Whoa, hey there. Oh, we skipped some of the uh, upper world area there. That's convenient. Woo! And make this jump. I want to gather coins if I can because coins are useful. They help you out with unlocking areas. Ooh, there we go. Mostly challenge areas, but I think they can give you a few other things too. And it looks like we are, however, out of time for this first episode, so I will have to pause it here and I will see you in the next one when we try to get past that tree trunk that's shooting 
bowling balls that explode. I'll see you then.